We get hundreds of replies to our outbound messages every day at ZoomInfo. Want to know how we manage them and nurture these into sales? The biggest mistake people and companies make is interpreting neutral or negative responses as the end of the conversation rather than the beginning. The average sale today takes eight touches. This tells us that getting from cold prospect to satisfied customer is a journey and fielding a range of replies is part of that. We can bucket all replies into three categories. Yes, which you should already know what to do with, unsubscribes or clear no's, which go in another bucket, and then that leaves everything in the middle. A positive and persistent mindset to these replies can drastically improve your win rate. As we talked about in the cold calling segment, a big part of reply management is reframing objections and using it as a jumping off point to ask more questions. Your goal should not be to book a meeting, but to drive the conversation forward. The more you can learn about a prospect's situation, the better you can honestly assess if they're a good fit for your product. If you believe they are, it makes your job as a seller easier. And if not, you can let them know and walk away knowing you did your best. Using replies to understand your prospect's situation will ensure your conversations have a natural curiosity and lead to discoveries that will sell your product for you. Keep track of different reply techniques and have the reps which do the best on replies help coach the rest of the team. One final tip, the best way to convert a neutral or negative response into a positive, just call them and ask for more details about the response.